Hi everyone, Jet86 here. Today I'm going to take you through installing uh, the Golem Beta version 0.15.0 on Ubuntu server. Uh, so here I've got a fully up-to-date Ubuntu server 16.04 uh, and you may run, want to run Golem on server OS rather than desktop OS uh, because obviously the OS will have uh, less overhead uh, so it can be useful if you've got a spare server or if you're running Golem inside a VM on your host for some reason. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. Now our first step is we want to install Docker and make sure Docker is running correctly. Uh, Docker is required by Golem uh, to run uh, the computations inside its own VM so that it's separated from the actual OS itself. So to do that we need to actually uh, install and set up uh, the Docker repository and then we'll be able to install Docker itself. So to begin with we need to make sure a few packages are installed. So we install apt transport HTTPS as well as C certificate, CA sorry, dash certificates, curl, and software properties common. So it's telling us some of them are already the newest versions, so that's fine, uh, but it'll go ahead and install what we don't already have on there. Then we need to add Docker's official GPG key uh, to be able to add its repository. So the command for that is curl dash F S uppercase S uppercase L and then the location of their latest GPG key and we pipe that into sudo apt-key add and put a dash at the end and that's done so now if you want to uh, check that the key is correct uh, you can verify the fingerprint and it should match the following Zero EBF CD eight eight is what the currently the last eight characters of the fingerprint, and we can see that that's been correctly added. So now we can go ahead and add the Docker repository. sudo whoops add apt repository. And you can get these instructions from the Docker website uh, if you'd prefer to follow along from a text source rather than from this video. So that's at docs.docker.com and you go to installing Docker CE for Ubuntu.
Oops. And I missed a character in there. That's better. Now we can update apt. And we can see download.docker.com is in there. And now we can install Docker CE. Okay, so that's installed. Now to confirm it's working correctly, we can run the docker hello world app. So sudo docker run oops, hello dash world. This will check if it already has the hello world image. If not, it will download it and run it and make sure it's all working correctly. So there we see, shows that the installation is working correctly. So now that Docker is fully installed and running correctly, we're going to go ahead and download the Golem installation script and run it. Now the easiest way to find the uh, path for the Golem installation script is by going to golem.network and then clicking on download and scrolling down to the Ubuntu section. And we can just wget to download the script. And that's very quickly downloaded the script so we can see with ls that it's there. So now we just follow the command that's on the golem.network download page. Okay, so golem is now uh, downloaded and installed uh, so we can go ahead and start running it. Uh, when you're running it on server mode obviously you need to use CLI commands. Uh, the two basic commands you will use are golem app and golem CLI. So golem app is used for running the actual golem instance on the machine and then you use golem CLI to connect to that instance uh, and check what's happening. Uh, this user is not part of the docker group, so what we're going to do to fix that is sudo user mod add to group docker dollar user, which is the current user. Now we should be able to go ahead and run golem app. Main net, and hopefully it will work correctly with Docker now. Okay, so it's still failed to uh, get the Docker image. So if we go Docker images. Okay, so it looks like adding ourselves to the Docker group hasn't actually worked. We may need to do a reboot now. We can log back in. Now if we type Docker images, there we go. So now if we run golem app dash dash main 
.NET, hopefully it will create the Docker image for us that we need. There we go, in terms of use must be accepted before using Golem. Well, run Golem CLI terms show to display them and Golem CLI terms accept to accept them. So I'm going to uh, cancel this now with Control C. Now I'll show you that if I go Golem CLI terms show it tells us that it can't connect to Golem instance so what we need to do is actually run the Golem app dash mate dash dash mainnet in the background so the easiest way to do that is using no hang up or no hop and then the command we want to run dash dash mainnet with an and at the end and press enter and we'll get back to this and that should be running in the background so now if we go golem cli terms show it gives us the terms of use terms and conditions of use so now we can go golem terms so oops Golem CLI terms accept. Terms of use have been accepted. So now we can jump into the Golem CLI itself. And this will run in interactive mode. No, it won't. We need to run Golem CLI I for interactive mode. Then we can type help, will give us the commands that are available. So we can, for example, check our settings. Under settings, we can go settings show, and it's not working. So I'm gonna jump out of that. And I'm going to and golem mainnet. So if I go and run golem app dash dash mainnet again, then we can have a look at what's wrong. Okay, so it's trying to download the image at the moment. This may take some time to download. what we can do while it's doing that is hit control Z and then hit BG to put it into the background and then run golem CLI in interactive mode we can run network status which will show us if we're connected at all and no, we're currently not. If we run help, we'll get a list of commands that are available. And we can go account. So account info. And it's not working because it's not connected yet. There we go, so if we create account, account unlock, no account found, generate one by hitting, by setting a password. So I'm going to go ahead and create a password. Generating keys. This can take quite a bit of time to generate the keys. And there we go, that's created the keys there.
And we're getting a whole lot of uh, connection messages now. So it looks like we may now be connected. And there we go, we're now connected. I'm going to exit out of Golem CLI. In fact, what we might do is bring it to the foreground and then hit Control C to exit it. And this will bring it back. Then what we can do is run it in no hop or no hang up. Golem up, now that we know it's running. Dash dash main net and. and that will append output to no hop dot out. The advantage of that is we can, if we want to watch it, we can go tail dash f no hop dot out. And that will show us what's happening. Ah, see, it's waiting for password to unlock the account. So if we go golem CLI. Account unlock. I need to enter our password that we created earlier. And that's unlocked. So now we can tail that again and see what's happening. Starting network. This way we can continue to watch the output, but when we don't want to see it all on our screen, we can just uh, exit out of tail, but it will still be written to the output. So we can see it's adding all those peers again, attempting to connect to them, and it says synchronized. So control C out of there, and we can go golem CLI network status not currently connected so it may take a bit of time to rediscover other nodes and connect again once it has connected we can basically just leave it running in this no hop mode and we can check in on it using golem cli uh, but if we just leave it running it will eventually receive tasks and uh, those tasks will earn gnt as well so we'll try again And it's now connected. So if we go golem CLI network show, we can see the details of the other nodes that we are connected to.